I uh, nearly forgot to record this. Um, what I've got here, I got a little bit of water and some rooting compound, and I've got a hole dug. Um, this is four different suckers that was growing at the base of my Chicago Hardy fig trees. Let me show you something about this. Every year at the base, you always have a bunch of suckers that come up. Instead of cutting those off, try to pull them off. What you end up with, if you can kind of see that end right there, it's kind of flared out a little bit. And then I pulled off one or two nodes or leaves right above it. So kind of see where that leaf's at. So you want to pull off one or two right above that. Just kind of depends on how far they are. Like this one's pretty high up, only did one. That one's pretty high up, only did one. This one's pretty high up, I only did one. This one was not, and I did two. There's one there, there's one there, plus the one at the bottom. And if you notice, there's some like white stuff coming out. That's kind of the important part of this step, is they are relatively fresh. They're still alive. So what we're going to do, I dug a hole deep enough to cover up each one of those nodes. Then you're going to take your rooting compound, you're going to stick it down inside there. Make sure you get that bottom part and also the node part, then just stick it in a hole. You're going to do that with each one. Now some of these might be kind of hard to get, like this one especially stuck all the way in there i'm barely up to where the node's at but i can just take and pour a little bit on there don't have to be the whole stem covered just need somewhere that it's kind of like bleeding at this one here is pretty close to the bottom for both of them i can probably get both of those in there and of course i can't get the top one uh actually i can just barely but we got it Then the last one. Again, I can't get to that one. I'll just go ahead and pour a little bit on there. It really don't take much. All right, so now I've got those stuck in the hole. My camera went out. Now I've got them stuck in the hole. I just want to kind of like arrange them so that they are relatively close together. They ain't got to be perfectly together. It just makes it kind of like to put the soil back in a little bit easier. Now I'm putting the soil back in, making sure that all the nodes are covered. This is going to be a little bit difficult because I already had straw in this raised bed. But I will get it in there. All right. Still some dirt from the edges, just to make sure I got everything covered up. Now that I got everything planted, what I want to do Kind of like the most horrible place for this camera to be at. All oh, the fun of doing YouTube videos, you guys, you have no idea. So all I'm doing is making sure that they are covered up with enough soil. Patting it down. If they need more soil, I can drag some in from close by to them. Now that I got that done, we're just going to take our water. It's in a spray bottle, but that's just what I had handy. Just give them a little bit of water.
Don't take a lot. Next thing is also kind of important. Let me get this tick off my arm. Next thing is kind of important. See this straw? I just want to like scoot the straw back up close to where the stems are at. The straw keeps the sun from beating down on the soil and causing the water to evaporate and makes it stay moist longer. That means I ain't got to come out here and water these every day. All right, so that's pretty much it. All I got to do now is walk, around, walk away. You know, with four stems in there, I got a 25% chance one of them will take. Often I have two or three. I figure out which one is going to be the strongest out of them, and then I destroy the others. So that's kind of an alternate method of how I plant fig trees, and it works for me. It might work for you. Uh, succulents. These used to be in one of the grape beds, and they're actually Sarah's. And I moved them, and she don't know it so yet. It is October the 17th now. And out of all of those fig trees that I planted, one actually made it. And all I did was stuck the branch in the ground. So uh, I'll have to be sure to cover this up over winter. But generally, if they make it this far... They'll be pretty good next year. Even if they die all the way to the ground, they generally li live. I basically just took maybe five to ten, I don't remember how many it was, um, water sprouts off the fig tree and stuck them in the ground. I didn't do anything to them. And knowing probably at least one would make it, and one did, so... And that's all for this. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.